transfer term is a very useful technique in solving equations. But before we talk about transfer term, I would like you to take a look on this statement. 7 minus 2 equal to 5. 7 minus 2 equals to 5. It is a true statement. And inside of the statement, there are three entities. 7, negative 2, and 5. 7, negative 2, and 5. Inside of the statement, if I want to reorganize the three entities, and there's a rule I need to follow. And each entity, we call that a term. When a term is moved to the other side of the equation, it changes the sign of the term. Changes the sign of the term. Okay, let's take a look. If I move the negative 2 to the other side of the equation, I need to change the sign. Negative 2 move to the other side. I need to change the sign to become positive 2. Then 7 equal to 5 plus 2. That's also a true statement. Now, if I move the 5 to the other side of the statement, what do I need to do? I need to change the sign. So that becomes 7 minus 5 equal to positive 2. Is that true? Yes, it is. Now, if I move the 7 to this side of the equation, that becomes negative 5 equal to positive 2 minus 7. Negative 5 equal to 2 minus 7? True. Therefore, we know transfer term can also be considered by the same type of uh, rules. Let's take a look of the steps. First, identify the term in the equation to be transferred and the direction to move. Secondly, change the sign of the term when it is moved to the other side of the equation. Example, x minus 11 equal to 7 minus 2x. Now, if I want to move the negative 11 to this side of the equation, that will become positive 11. If I move this 7, that's positive, move to this side of the equation, that will become negative 7. If I move this x to this side of the equation, it will become negative x. And how about this negative 2x? If I move the, this negative 2x over to the other side of the equation, that will become, you're right, positive 2x. This example, x plus 6 equal to 10. If I want to move positive 6 to the other side of the equation, I need to change the sign. So it becomes negative 6, and 10 minus 6 is 4. So x equal to 4. That's how I solve the equation. Therefore, as we have talked about earlier, transfer term is a technique used to help solving the equations. Let's take a look on another example. Identify the term in the equation to be transferred to the other side. I want to move the negative 27 to the other side. Negative 27. I need to change the sign to positive, and 9 plus 27 is 36. The equation is solved. Well, what do you think? Which term I need to move? I need to move 13 to the other side, don't I? Then that become negative 13. 18 minus 13 is 5. x equal to 5. 
That's my final answer. When they are variables on both sides of the equation, we still need to identify the terms to move. But my goal is to put the variables together and the non variable together. So here he goes. That's what I want to do. Remember, I need to change the sign. So positive 6 become negative 6. X become negative x. Then 2x minus x equal to x. Negative 5 minus 6 equal to negative 11. That is how I solve the equation. Transfer term is helping us to reorganize the statement that help us to solve the equation. Transfer term does not solve it, but it helps. Now, you try. Identify the term to transfer to the other side. What do you think? I want to transfer two things, negative x and 12, because I want to have x, not negative x, to be on one side of the equation. When I have negative 8 equal to x, I can use the reflexive property to s just flip them. Then I will have x equal to negative 8 as my final answer. Okay, now you try this one. Remember, the variables on both sides of the equation, does it matter? No, that doesn't matter. All I have to do is to identify the term I want to move and change the sign when I move it. So I want to move the negative 2x over here and 16 over here. Then that's what I have. When I combine them, I got x equal to negative 3. I'm certain you have a pretty good idea now. Remember, you can always come back and repeat the video math lesson. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.